All right, you guys, so we're gonna install a fantastic fan into my van today. And I've got the model number 1250. The reason I went with the 1250 is because it has reversible speeds. So you can go pull air into the van or suck air out of the van. All right, you guys, so it's actually 16 and a half is the beauty ring, I wanna call it. It's about 16 and a half light, but the actual cutout, don't make that mistake, the actual cutout for this fan is 14 and three quarter. Excuse me, 13 and three quarter. That's 13 and three quarter, a little heavy. So, about three quarter so don't make an error whatever you do and cut the hole too big cutting the hole too small is fixable cutting the hole too big uh, that's a whole nother challenge to probably try and fix so 13 and three quarter it looks like for the cutout the beauty ring 16 and a half so when you measure back six inches on the first line and 16 and a half, you get a nice centered fan. But as far as the hole cut, it looks like 13 and three quarter. Again, make it too big and you're hosed. Don't do that. So measure twice, cut once. That's the saying. Anywho, um, here we go. And uh, let me get these holes marked up and I'll get these four holes drilled and we'll get on to the next thing. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to show you what I used to mark the hole up top is I used a small level as my straight edge. I used a square, I used a tape measure and a Sharpie. And this is the time where I made the, made the uh, measurements and I got everything lined up and I got it set up the way that I liked it. So everything looks good. I made a little bit of an adjustment here. This is the time to adjust to the right or to the left. If you move the line over a tad here, you're gonna move the same line over here. Obviously, you should know that, but saying this, this is the time after you lay it out is to look at it from underneath before you do any cutting and make sure that number one, the cutout measurement is correct. You're not using the overall measurement. You wanna make sure you get the cutout measurement correct. And then you want to measure twice and double check this whole thing. Make sure you're happy the way that it looks down here. And then we're going to go through, we're going to drill our four holes on each corner. And then once we do that, that's the template set for the top. And then we'll match those three eighths holes uh, using the Sharpie, double checking with the tape, using a square and the straight edge and do the same thing on the top. And once we double check everything, uh, then we'll put the blue tape down and start running a jigsaw and make that cut. So it's no big deal as long as you measure correctly. Don't make the error of making this too big. Anyway, here we go. Hey you guys, so I used a three or seven thirty second uh, pilot drill and I drilled four holes in the corner and now I'm gonna chase it with the three eighths. If you try and start with a three eighths drill bit, you're gonna struggle and be floating all over the place. So here we go. Ooh, hold one. Doing this with one hand, you guys, so you can see it. So if it turns out funny, it is what it is. Your 
Okay. All right, you guys. So uh, I got the four hole drilled, four holes drilled. I put the blue tape on. If a lot of you don't know what that is, you should. It's just to protect the uh, the paint while the jigsaw is running down the line. Um, using this jigsaw, and uh, let's see what happens. That's where it starts getting tough, you guys, when you get it flapping like that. So, let's see how the last one does. All right, you guys, so I gotta set the camera down here. Let's see. I don't know if you can see, but. guys so I snapped a blade that's probably gonna happen probably good to have maybe somebody help you on this but I'm doing it solo so you can too uh, I got one more blade hopefully we don't blow it so I'm gonna shut the camera off cut this last piece and then I'll show you what it looks like all right you guys so I'm gonna give you a tip here is if you're trying to cut this thing on that last cut which you saw a second ago this thing starts flopping and it's a big problem if you try to use blue tape, it might work, but honestly, duct tape. So you put duct tape like this, okay? Careful not to cut yourself, but pretty much put duct tape here, maybe a little here, and the more you support this, when you go to make this final cut, it'll be supported. All right. I can say one thing, do not get yourself cut up. That is so sharp to so really be careful. It's better to play with the blue tape here at the end and have a bunch of scratches. <clears throat> You know, it is weird to cut a big hole in the top of your van like that and look through. <laughs> um, but you know, the scary part, I guess, is cutting the hole. And, and uh, a lot of people probably worry about that, but it's not a big deal. I mean, if you measure it correctly, uh, you can see. <clears throat> this is not really taking me that long to do. Um, now again, uh, that duct tape really helped out at the end. You guys, I can't stress that enough. It's definitely a key pro tip, if you want to say that. Not like I'm a pro, but definitely was a good, good deal. So, there's our hole. Let's see if our fan will fit in. All right, you guys, look at that. Fit right in the hole, nice and clean. This wires came through don't get those jammed up but this thing just fit in just perfect just like we planned it centered nice and neat and uh, I'm pretty happy with it came out really clean um, this is it on the top okay so now I just set it in there so now what we need to do next is I'll come through and I'll line the edges of the top with like a butyl tape 
I think it's called Butol. It's an RV staple, RV tape. Not like as a staple staple, but you can go to any RV store and get it. Probably get it on Amazon as well, but um, I'll show you what that is here in a minute. We'll line up that tape. We'll go through and pre-drill four holes, get four screws in. Once we do that, we pre-drill the rest of them, send the screws in, good to go. Um, you could probably add some additional silicone if you want, but um, that tape usually works out pretty good. Um, either way, uh, on to the next step. All right, you guys, so I've installed this uh, butyl tape. It's in a roll. I think it's B-U-T-Y-L-E, that's how you spell it. But anyway, it's a flexible tape. Um, I put it down all the way around. And then where this dip is, I, I also doubled it. Actually, I think I tripled it up. And now it's all pretty much level. Now I'll go ahead and set the fan in. Put the four holes right here. One, two, three, four. Pre-drill those. Put the screws in. And then just do the rest of them. And uh, should be set. Here we go. Just hold. And this will be the second. Okay. Now, let's put the screws in. I'm gonna use a hand driver on this just because I don't wanna over torque it with a, a screwdriver uh, or an impact. So, I think a hand driver would be the safest. Let's see if we can get this to go. Again, doing this with one hand. Yep, that's a good pre-drill. So, I think it was 3.30 seconds. Oh yeah. And it just squeezes that glue right there. Or that tape. Next one. Actually, that's really easy, you guys. So, pull this one in. I just take it nice and slow here. And you know, honestly, if it's a little warm, is better, because this will squeeze out better. Anyway, that's it, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other two in the back and then run all the holes in here, put all the screws, and then uh, uh, that'll be it. So I'll show you when that's done, and then I'll also uh, wire this thing up and let's see how it works. All right. Okay, so all wired up right there and ready to go. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why, but the black wire on that is positive. I, I don't know. Anyway, make sure you get that right. So uh, here we go. Let's see how this thing goes. This is direction of sucking air out of the van. One, two, three. Works pretty good. Let's see if it'll go the other direction. So you hit that switch, flip it to the other direction. I'm gonna kind of let this wind down a little bit and kind of bump it a little bit. Here we go. One, yep, and it changed direction. It's blowing air in here, a lot of it. All right. So anyway guys, that's it. Hey, I hope this video helped you guys out. And uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Catch you on the next one guys. Peace.